Hey guys, I'm doing another LOL doll makeover today. The hammer. Where Get is the hammer. Can't find it. But first things first, let me just say that there has been a slight change of scenery. Not sure if you noticed. Some of you guys kept insisting on me doing an art studio tour, but I didn't actually have an art studio. Everything was just jammed into my bedroom, and believe me, you didn't want to see that. Ah! Now I've moved and upgraded. So yeah, everything's in my living room now. It's not really too drastic of a background change, but I thought I'd mention it. All right, so another LOL doll makeover. Hello. He just popped out of there. They're so creepy and I can't recommend buying them, but the reason I keep doing these makeovers is because I like how cartoony they turn out. They're some of my favorite dolls to do. So yeah, I bought another one. <laughs> Normally they come in little balls. This one's in a little present. Surprise! <laughs> LOL surprise, present surprise. That's the type I got this time. Trying to switch things up. It looks a lot like one of those origami fortune things. The one that tells you who well, you're gonna marry and what kind of house you'll have. I'm set. There's some pink trash and this one's the doll. I can feel it. <laughs> but I'll keep the suspense alive and I'll unbox her later. This LOL doll collection is Zodiac themed. They've got one doll for every Zodiac sign, which is pretty cool. They have some pretty interesting names. Rar, babe. That's me. That's me, apparently, since I'm a Leo. People always ask me if they should address me as Graveyard or Loon or Gravy or whatever. That's me. Can you shut up for a second? But henceforth, I'd like it to be known that I prefer Rar, babe. That's me. Please don't forget to emphasize the Rar. That's important. The Scorpio one is scarily accurate. My girlfriend actually looks a lot like that. So my LOL doll comes with this little outfit. I think she's supposed to be a Libra. I still don't know what these pieces of trash mean. Feel free to decipher on my behalf. She also has a laptop. There's something involving pizza on it, but I can barely read it. I would need to take out my grandma glasses for this one, but I couldn't find them. I saw this piece of trash. I wasn't sure what purpose it served. I don't know if it was supposed to be a skirt or a cupcake tin. She does already have a skirt, so I'm a bit confused. And here comes the star of the show. Oh. I was trying to adjust her into a more modest position before pulling her out of the packaging, but her oh. body just flew off. A lot of the LOL dolls look a little scandalous. Despite her original position, she is a bit more modest looking than the others. Her head keeps falling off. It really just doesn't want to stay on. Her shirt doesn't really fit her. The quality of these LOL dolls is questionable. But that's not a big deal since I'll be giving it a makeover anyways. She comes with these little earrings. They're supposed to be the scales that she holds. One of them went in, the other one I couldn't get in at all. I thought I was wasting too much time trying to shove one of her earrings in, so I moved on to the other accessories. I did finally find a solution to the earrings problem. I found something that would finally make it stick, so that'll just have to do for now. To start off, I'm going to try and remove as much of the paint as possible using acetone. If you're new here and you don't want me to wipe your face off, you should consider selling your soul to me by subscribing to my channel and ringing that bell thing so you don't lose me on the internet. I post new videos every Friday. I'm going to try to incorporate the LOL doll's outfit into this makeover. I didn't really get rid of anything other than her sunglasses, earrings, and her oversized juice box. Some LOL dolls have hidden outfits if you dunk them in water. A lot of times they're pretty inappropriate, so I just don't put them in water. But you can see here, it looks like the cold acetone is trying to make some of that outfit show up on her arm. The black ink on her arm appears when something cold touches it and then disappears after a bit. 
Some of the hair is also wiping off. It's not the best dye job, but it's fine since I'll be giving her a way better one. I went in with a Q-tip to try and get as much of the paint off as possible, especially around her face. I wanted her face to be as smooth as possible. I then took out some epoxy and mixed it together. My plans for this LOL doll is to turn her into a Viking. I've always loved Vikings and their whole aesthetic. Vikings are known for their raiding and pillaging, and a lot of them carry around these circular shields, so that's what I'm making right now. They're made of wood, so I went in with a clay tool to add some texture. I wanted it to look like a very worn out battle shield, so I'm taking some big chunks out of it and putting some scratches and stuff across it. I wanted it to look like she's seen some stuff. I also gave her a little pet weasel so she doesn't get lonely on her adventures. It doesn't really look anything like a weasel yet, but I'll add some more detail to it in a bit. I then moved on to sculpting her battle axe. Same as the shield, I wanted it to look worn out and like it sliced a couple heads open. The weasel is wrapped around her neck like he's resting on her shoulders. I don't know if you can tell it's a weasel, it kinda looks like a hairy snake. Ew. I guess it can be whatever you want it to be. I stuck a shoulder pad on just one side. I'm not going for a symmetrical look. I think it looks better this way. This is kinda meant to be part of her armor. Just a little something to protect her in battle. I also added some loops and buckles on her skirt. I'm going to turn her skirt into like a chainmail skirt. And of course she has a little dagger hanging off of it. Now I'm sculpting her helmet. It's a little small and dented. It doesn't protect much. Of course she's going to have these iconic viking horns. One of them's been chopped off. I know vikings didn't actually have horns on their helmets, but it just adds to the whole look. Accuracy has never been my forte. I'm poking holes in the shield with some thin wire. I plan on turning these into arrows later. And then I took out some paints. I started off with a brown base coat for the shield to give it that woody look I mentioned earlier. It took a few layers because I had watered down the paint a bit so that it has less texture. Vikings usually have these really cool looking shields with patterns on them, so here's my attempt at that. I'm giving it like a basic viking pattern. It's not crazy intricate. I always try to keep things simple because the lol dolls are so tiny. I'm doing something similar with the axe, just making it look like a standard lumberjack axe. Now that her weapons of choice are ready to go, I figured I'd complete her look. Without the paint, she kind of reminds me of a girl scout, but that's all gonna change in a second. She's about to get a whole lot more ferocious. Rar, babe. That's me. So I'm going to make her look a little bit more Viking-ish. After the straps and the weasel, I started painting her helmet. She has some scratches on that as well. She clearly fell off her bike one too many times. You can't see the pain in her eyes. She's good at hiding it. So now I'm going in and giving her a new face. I wanted her to look extra fierce. I was painting on some eyeliner and eyelashes, but that was looking a little boring and she didn't look crazy Woo! enough. So I added some war paint. That's how you know it's game time. I'm really happy I changed it up and added that war paint. I think it really brought out her inner psycho. <laughs> I kept going back a couple times and messing with it to get it exactly how I wanted it while I was painting her eyes. I ended up redoing her eyes a couple times cause I wanted her expression to be just right. So I kinda kept just going back in with Posca's to like clean up some edges around her eyes. It's pretty tough painting their faces because they're pretty tiny. I'm happy I didn't chop off her pigtails. I think it's a funny contrast to her inner berserker rage. I wanted her to look even more cartoony than she already did so I added some definition with a black Posca to her axe. I felt like she needed something around her shoes. They looked a bit too bare, so I sculpted some fur. Maybe she ripped it off of her pet weasel. I thought Ugg boots would complement her perfectly. I wanted to add fletching to the arrows, the little feathers on the backs of arrows that make them fly better. My original plan was to cut fletching out of paper, so I painted some paper red and painstakingly cut tiny little strips out, which I actually ended up deserting later on. I used some hot glue to stick the arrows into place, and then I was all set to stick on the feathers, but the paper ended up looking kinda gross. So I instead resorted to using epoxy to sculpt out some feathers as a last resort. I just made crisscrossing feathers on the backs of the arrows with some tiny pieces of epoxy. I think it turned out pretty well despite the minor setback. I tried to be a bit more detailed than I usually am with these, and I think it was definitely worth it. She has an arrow sticking out of her helmet, so I guess the helmet wasn't totally useless. A lot of people were left unsatisfied with my last paper squishy video because the evil bunny chewing on the arm didn't include blood. Yeah. <laughs> That's my bad. 
I apologize. I didn't mean to disrespect your appetite for gore yeah. like that. So to make up for it, I added blood splatters all over the Viking. I hope you're happy. I hot glued the axe to her hand because there's no way she could hold it up on her own. And then I stuck her onto a base because there's no way she could stand up on her own. Now that she was standing up, I could go back and paint the little arrow fletchings. And then I attached the shield to the base to make it look like she was holding it. So here's the little Viking. I think she makes a great addition to my LOL doll army. Oh, Where's my hair straightener? In the future, I'd like to do more LOL dolls like the Viking. I like how detailed she is, so I'd love to do more of that. The Vikings are coming to raid your pantry! Now! Now! Click on the top right or bottom left to save your potatoes! Now! <laughs>